When Parliament met a day after the assembly poll results, then it was widely expected to have smooth business. But furor and hangama led to disruptions in the proceedings of both houses. After an hour-long adjournment, when Lok Sabha met at 12 noon, then the JPC 2G report was tabled. At the time of tabling of the report, the BJP, left parties and DMK demanded discussion, but Lok Sabha speaker citing rules did not permit discussion. We are all saddened by the fact that the Honorable Speaker did not allow us to say what we wanted to say. All of us had risen to raise points of order and it is our right, okay. members' right, to raise points of order. We will say that this is a fraud of a report, this is absolutely a politically biased report, this is no report of the Parliamentary Committee, therefore it cannot be considered, by the, it cannot be considered to be a report of the JPC. This report was finalized by JPC by the majority of the JPC members. The report has given clean chit to Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh and Finance Minister P. Chidambaram, while former Telecom Minister A. Raja has been cited in the report for misleading the Prime Minister's office. Earlier, when both Houses of Parliament met in the morning at 11 a.m., then BSP MPs tried to raise the issue of the condition of the Muzaffarnagar riot victims staying in the camps. हमने सभापति महोदय से ये रिक्वेस्ट किया कि क्वेश्चन आवर स्थगित करके तो इस मामले पर चर्चा कराई जाए और सेंटर को इसमें दखल देना चाहिए और इतना ही नहीं वहां पर ऐसे हालातों को देखते हुए वहां पर प्रेसिडेंट रूल लगने के वहां पर सब जरूरत है बीएसपी के लोग गलत बात कर रहे हैं सदन को गुमराह कर रहे हैं हम देखेंगे और जरूरत पड़ेगी तो इन लोगों के खिलाफ हम प्रिविलेज मोशन भी लाएं द प्रेजेंट शॉर्ट विंटर सेशन ऑफ पार्लियामेंट हैज जस्ट 9 वर्किंग डेज लेफ्ट and the government wants to pass many important pending legislations in this session itself. It would be interesting to watch whether the government would be able to transact legislative business to what extent. With Shailendra Mishra and Rajesh Raj, Sudhakar Das's report, DD News.